Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I get asked a ton of questions all the time about my truck and I've recently had quite a big switch up in so-called adventure rigs. So I'm going to walk you guys through why I had to get rid of my Tacoma. I also constantly get asked about my roof racks and what kind of stuff I use with my truck. So I want to show you guys that today. Let's get into it. So first off, I want to talk about the number one reason I had to make the switch and get rid of my Tacoma. Um, simply because it was too small and it couldn't tow enough. My partner Brandon and I, we work a tree business, Brandon owns it, and often we have jobs that are a little bit further away, and in order to get to those jobs, um, we often have to do double trips with Brandon's truck. My Tacoma could not haul any more than just the chipper by itself, or just the dump trailer by itself. And normally the chipper and the dump trailer get hooked up together, and uh, the lift that we have to bring to jobs weighs 8,000 pounds. So um, the Tacoma was, just wasn't enough, and, uh, and that's most of our life, right? Um, so that's basically the number one reason. And to be totally honest with you, I thought I would miss my Tacoma more, but I don't. I just don't. There's one big thing that I miss about it, and that is driving stick. Full-size trucks don't come in stick, and uh, I used to love driving standard. That was like my pride and joy, so. Um, I think eventually it would come to the point where maybe I can get like a little bush jeep or something like that that comes in stick just so I can kind of bomb around and reason number two for getting rid of my Tacoma is that it's just a little bit too small. Um, I have a family and it was getting a little bit tight. Uh, the kids are growing up, getting bigger and yeah it just, it just wasn't enough room. Um, all that being said, if you're considering getting a Tacoma and you don't need to haul equipment and you don't need something with a whole lot of room inside and if you're planning on taking it in places where basically only four-wheelers fit, the Tacoma is a really good fit for that. My Tacoma had a three inch in the front, one inch in the back leveling kit. So it gave me quite a bit of clearance and I also had some, ran some bigger tires on it. And, uh, and it, was, it was a great adventure truck. I could get into pretty much any spot um, that a, basically a side-by-side -side could go. And uh, for the most part, a Tacoma will get you into those nice tight places. So This truck is actually getting far better mileage than my Tacoma ever did. So that's another thing with Tacomas. They are pigs on gas. They really are, especially if you uh, put a leveling kit in them, put bigger tires on. You're, you're pretty much looking at 17 liters per 100 kilometers. No idea what that is in gallons, but it's a lot. Um, as your average mileage so all this to consider I miss a few things about my Tacoma but ultimately I'm very happy with with my new Titan um, it's not new it's only a 2019 so it's a couple years old and uh, it's a great truck I love it I have personalized it already yeah it's pretty awesome so as you guys know we do canoe trips so when I had the Tacoma I was able to just get any kind of roof rack because the Tacoma is pretty pretty narrow I just got like a cheap secondhand um, roof rack when I had that and uh, and it worked really well but this guy is just a little bit too big for those racks that I had on the Tacoma which is too bad because Brandon made like a really cool like double rack situation it looked really good but um, but anyways for this guy there was very limited options for um, getting roof racks for a bare roof um, but I'll show you guys what I got and what I found and after doing lots of research what I decided to go with and uh, yeah so I decided to go with the Rhino racks um, basically they, my, the ones on my Tacoma used to whistle like crazy because they were square, but these ones are, uh, very, very quiet, which is really nice because of the shape of them. So this is what they look like. They've got a rubber strip here on the top, protect my canoes. They've got a really nice low profile, so they're pretty quiet on the highway. And again, the shape, just the shape of them, um, helps. They're a little bit more aerodynamic because I have a bare roof on my truck. Um, I got the ones that kind of go in the door jam here, and they fit really nicely. And uh, we'll see how they perform this summer, but so far so good. Next thing I wanted to show you guys is my mats. So in my Tacoma, I had the same mats. This is the company called Tux Mat. They have the most coverage I've ever seen. So the mat goes down in here and covers all the way up to where the plastic starts on my vehicle and they did the same thing in my last vehicle as well so I was really happy with them they keep my truck really really clean because as you guys know like when it's muddy and it's spring and and you come back from a canoe trip and you're out bushwhacking and stuff 
the mats just get disgusting and then the inside of your truck gets disgusting and it's a lot to clean up and keep clean and like i said i have a family i like to keep my truck reasonably clean as much as i can so these guys save me a lot of time and uh they honestly wipe up really really good and then i'll show you the ones in the back here something i really like about them too is they go over this hump in the middle and they protect all the way up up the sides they protect all the way up the sides here, all the way up the sides here, and they come all the way back. So it was pretty sad to see my Tacoma go, but uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really happy with the Titan. Eventually the plan is to get a four-wheeler and get deeper into the backcountry that way. And then in the wintertime I use my snowmobile um, to kind of help me get further into the backcountry because you're not even allowed, like around here there's just snowmobile trails everywhere and you're not allowed trucks on them. So. Um, so I kind of needed that to be able to get further into the bush in the winter and yeah, my truck really couldn't take me very far in the winter anyways. Nobody's truck really can. So unless the road is kind of taken care of a little bit, um, you're not getting back into those spots with any kind of truck anyways. So, so I hope this video helped answer some of your guys' questions. Maybe some of you have full size trucks out there and uh, let me know what you guys use as roof racks and stuff if you have any for your full size truck because they're kind of hard to find. <laughs> um, I went with the Rhino racks because it's basically all I could find to, to fit my truck. And um, yeah, I, I do really like them. I think they'll, they'll be fine, but uh, I'll let you guys know as I start using them. If you have any more questions for me, either about my Tacoma when I had it or about this truck or about kind of overlanding and stuff like that, um, it really interests me. I love like, oh, there's some really, really cool overlanding rigs out there that I think are just awesome. And maybe, maybe one day I'll get a setup like that, but pretty happy with this. And, uh, and it does exactly what I needed to do now. Stay tuned to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. At least anyone who had questions about, about my truck. And, um, and that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.